It is coming up on the 4th of July. Time to grab that grill. Fire that grill up this weekend. You'll make sure that your cooking is just right for all those guests that are coming over. And who better to share some tips and actually tell us a little bit about Victory is not only <coughs> Chris Callender from Victory Smokehouse. Yes, yes. Back Thank again. You. Back again. Thank you. And this for time you got guys. power tools. I have power tools. I do. We don't uh, pass up the opportunity to use yeah. a uh, impact drill in the kitchen. I mean, Fantastic. I think uh, we usually have the big smoker in the rig and you got that flare, so we wanted to bring it inside and okay. keep it uh, still very, you know, barbecue esque. So you know? you're going to make us something and then you're going to give us some tips for all the barbecue. This week. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna vet. So you know, we gonna um, actually, you know, this is probably the first time you guys have seen green on my uh, near my cutting uh, board here. Uh, we are gonna make uh, basically uh, our take of a, of a stuffed cabbage, and uh, I'll get into that, and we'll talk while I do it here. We got our whole head of cabbage. We're gonna take that. I'm gonna show you how easy this is, man. It's, it's awesome too. We're gonna take that bottom, cut it off. There's our flat surface. We're gonna take our bowl. Put that guy in there. It's a monster bowl, too. It is a monster Well, you're going to see why we need to have that big bowl in a here second we go. here, man. This is where the fun part happens. We're going to take this and bore this out, man. Yeah! There it is. There it is. Have some fun with it, man, you know? Well, that's the thing. Tell you what. You're going to see in a second, man. Look at that. All right, so we're doing this. <laughs> and you're going to see what this turns into in a second. Sorry All about right. your suit. No, no, no. It's great. Let's check this left, out. Left you do this. Later. And your byproduct, you already got a nice base here, okay. you know, for some coleslaw. You know, you can for use sure. that. You can use it as like a cabbage salsa, <laughs> if you will. And what we're going to do, we're going to make this a little bit bigger. We got some, uh, we, there you go. Did you catch a piece? Did yeah, you get I got, any? I got all kinds on me. That's the fun it's, of it. You know, it's 4th of July. Thing, you got to be outside, too, too man. Mm -hmm. You know? Good stuff. Don't wear the suit, though, That's outside. Sweet too. Isn't it? It's really nice. nice? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to take this cored out cabbage. And we are going to stuff it. This, uh, our take is some chorizo. Okay. We're going to put that in there, right? We're going to layer that with this, uh, just some sharp cheddar. All things you can find, I mean, you know, your local grocery store and stuff, just something yeah. uh, a little bit different. We stuff it like this. We pack it tight. We put a full pound of this into uh, this, uh, what, supercharged stuffed cabbage, I guess we can call it. It is now. truly a stuffed cabbage, <laughs> right? right? And uh, we get that going. And then what okay. we're going to do is we're going to wrap this up in some foil. What the best thing to do too is take a big leaf you got, yeah, use that as your uh, your cap, cap there. Off. Yeah, okay. give him a nice hat. Put that there. We'll lay that down for me, brother. There it is. We're gonna wrap that guy up. I am your sous chef. What do you, you mean? Are. You're doing good, man. Okay. You're doing good. Like this, just some household heavy duty foil. Okay. And the best part about this, now that we got our sweet ingredients in there. We always have the rig, we always have the smoke. You don't necessarily need a smoker for this. So I know we got, you know, 4th of July, big barbecue weekend. Yep, of, if you don't necessarily people. have that, right, you know, right. you take this, you can put it right in the oven, okay. 200, 225, three, four hours, all that breaks down. You get the chorizo, the cheese, the juices, and that cabbage. So this is going in the oven. This is our, this is our oven down here. Right, right. We're gonna put this, we're gonna put this in the oven, there it is. And, and we're gonna pull out product. finished products here. Now we do our, we smoke ours. Obviously, right? Right, right? I don't even Victory know how to use an house. oven, I don't think. Right. So we got that there. We're going to take this out. And then here's another fun part, too, man. Just the reveal. You saw That's the exciting. cleaver. The cleaver is going to be fun, man. Oh, so look at all those juices in there now, right? Perfect. I'm going to take that out. See, so now you're going to get dirty. Well, you're, gonna, you're not going to hit, hit it well, with Well, I'm going to hit it with the drill. It's oh, gonna, I'm not going to hit it with the drill, man. <laughs> you take scared that out like me there. The We're going to perfect. take this. Boom. Cleanup's good. There it is, man. This is the fun part, right? Let's see, let's see what this thing looks like in the middle. Take it like oh, this and just slice yeah. it up. Now, who came up with this idea? Is this yours? You know what? This was thrown together actually by uh, myself. And you know what? I shouldn't even say it. More my uncle in his barn. Family and he recipe. said, you know what? We got stuffed cabbage is great. Let's take a whole head of cabbage. And I got to tell you, he's the master. I'm just, uh, I'm just the apprentice, really. This is great. Boom. And now you got like a nice stuffed cabbage. Let's try that chorizo. You it's see all, all that, all that color, there. man? And then you can put that into a tin, and then you can just have people, it's almost like, you know, a nacho or some type of appetizer, you know, it's a finger Nachos. food. Yeah, yeah. It's great, man. Throw and then, I mean, there with some chorizo, chips, yeah. And then the best salsa. thing, you got your uh, puree uh, cabbage there. To add you on want to it, it a little bit, boom. There you go. Super easy, man. It's now, great. If, and there's something a little bit different, you know. If somebody doesn't really want to hit the grill over the weekend, they want to come to Victory instead and have you do the job, Absolutely. tell me about it. Well, you know, we're open uh, right now Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Okay. We operate from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. to the public. Okay. We're smoking six days a week. We're okay. there pretty much throughout the night. Um, you can always call ahead, put together a big order, you sure. know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, our, our menu, I think we brought in, I don't know how many meats mm. throughout, uh, you know, the, the past few visits. Now, that's but, uh, meaty greens right there. Yeah, exactly. So you don't even need to get the meat. You could just, if somebody was like right. a, a vegetarian type of a menu or, you know, right. that's what they go for, there it is, man. I mean, it's great. But, yeah, the victory... Uh, 
the Victory Inn, our brick and mortar, you know, it was in 1946. Okay. I mean, a staple in Warren. Um, you know, it's going to be going through some changes coming up. We're going to be yeah. expanding some patio seating. Uh, it's going to be a blast, man. You'll, you'll come uh, back and tell us a little bit more about that. So I, I may come back. Yes, 12 Mile and Mound, the southeast corner. Okay. Uh, you can enter from, from Mound. You can enter from, from 12, uh, right just south of GM Tech Center. All right. And, uh, yeah, man, I hope you come I'm, back so, I'm so glad you didn't mess up your watch. You know what? It's indestructible. I'm telling you, it is. I got a few more, too. We'll have all the tips at our website, WXYZ.com. Chris with Victory Smokehouse, yes. thank you so much. Hey, and happy, thank you, man. Happy Independence Day. We'll be right thank back. You.